cleaned up to some degree. <laughs> he and threw he, it 57 times. He threw it 57 and ran 11, I think. So 68 times, he's you know right in the middle of stuff. Yeah, MVP, right? Uh, no, he's playing his ass off right now and uh, super competitive. Um, love everything he's doing. You know, he's fighting through practice. So. He is, there's no question he's banged up, and, and we'll see how he feels tomorrow. But he finished that thing, you know, and, and he finished it with a flurry. Um, is he tired? He's exhausted. Uh, but he'll be ready to go. Stefan, he kind of had an interesting recruiting process. Can you kind of take us through your view of how he got to Oklahoma State? You know, um, we had evaluated him, um, and I really liked him on tape. And he made an early uh, commitment, I think, to go to Oregon. Um, not sure what happened there, uh, whether or not it was us that – showed more interest and then he flipped at that time I can't remember uh, how it went but he was a kid that was committed to Oregon and then um, you know we went down and kind of got him a little bit later in the process uh, we had a spot open up and we went after him at that time we really didn't have anything and we were um, in that class pretty deep in talent and we had some guys already done um, but we had one more pop and uh, we went after him and, and I'm glad he's here no question he more than doubled his you know season long catch total today um, did you learn anything about Stefan? Competitor loves to play the game. You know that kid's bouncing around that locker room right now. He's having fun, but he's always bouncing around. He's always like that. You know, it comes off the sideline if he's banged up or he takes a shot or something. It doesn't phase him. I mean, he just bounces back up and starts running around again. And uh, very vocal. Uh, I think he's going to be a great leader for us down the road. Uh, you know, he's just a young guy right now, but he's he's one of those guys that people kind of gravitate to because of his personality. So I'm happy to see him have the success, you know, tonight. And he was in a position where he had to step up with, you know, Braden down and not playing. Uh, we had, you know, walked out the two true freshmen at, at Z, and, and uh, I thought they did a good job. You know, Boogie really stepped up. And to have that charisma, you know, you're talking about, how important is that to have as a freshman? Um, <laughs> it, it's important from the standpoint that, that I think his best days are in front of him still, you know. I think that he's not at shock or he's not in shock at all about the big stage. Obviously, we saw that tonight. So I feel comfortable with him being out there and playing. Um, sometimes guys get a little bit, you know, nervous, a little bit wide-eyed, a little bit, uh, you know, looking at the crowd. And, and uh, hell, I remember, you know, James one time, and we're, we're playing, and he'd been playing a few games, Washington. And um, we go down to play OU, and I was like, James, Jesus, man, you run the wrong route, drop the ball. I was like, coach, you see all these people out here? <laughs> you know, so, and here's a guy that ends up being a second round draft pick. Now, he's a true freshman at the time, but he played a few games. And, and uh, you know, he was still in that stage of trying to fight through all the distractions that a big game like that can, can cause. And, uh, you know, Boogie just doesn't seem to be phased by it. So, happy to see him. For Boogie? That's his nickname. Boogie. Where'd that come from? Uh, I think it's because he used to dance as a little kid, but everybody calls him Boogie. I mean, I don't call him Stefan. It's Stefan Johnson, but, but it's Boogie. For most of the year, you guys have seemingly been ahead and trying to hold a lead at the end of the game. What was it like? Did you learn anything about yourself, about, a, about the position to, to go out and, and take that one at the end? Um, a little bit. I'd, not necessarily. You know, our offense is built to, to try and play fast. Um, for us to be behind by two, three scores isn't a scary thing. Um, you know, it's the harder thing for us is trying to finish it when we're ahead. I mean, that's because we're not a ball up, smash you team. We're a wide open team and an aggressive passing team. I mean, hell, we threw it 57 times. So um, that's just who we are. So it's harder for us to actually spin it back and go the other way. Easier for us to be, I mean, I don't want to be behind, mm -hmm. but easier for us to play from behind than it is to play from ahead. Is that a number 